step, 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 Did you like that little intro, the little introduction to the Hey Sticks video? Good, because I didn't make it. Zach Little did. I didn't ask him to do it. He didn't even so much as say, hey, I'm uh, I'm working on a thing for you. The other day, he just emails me with that attachment here. It's amazing. Friends. Uh, I got my first traffic ticket the other day. I did. I got my first traffic ticket. It was out of state, too. Um, I live in West Virginia, and I got this ticket in Ohio, uh, which, is a, which is a very horrible place, especially if you're driving a car. Um, difference between the policemen in West Virginia and Ohio, especially as far as traffic is concerned, is that in Ohio, all of their police are concentrated on the highway to catch people speeding so that they can catch people speeding. And West Virginia is kind of throughout towns and things, so I could be going 10 miles per hour over the speed limit in West Virginia, and they wouldn't care. So, but I got a ticket anyway. And for people who haven't got a ticket out of state, you might not know that it's very annoying to deal with. Because um, obviously you can't just hand them cash there, you know, to pay off your ticket. Uh, you can't drive back to the courthouse because it's two hours away from your house. Or my house in this instance. So it's like, hmm, can I mail them a check? That'd be easy, right? They, why wouldn't they take checks? They don't. They don't take personal checks. So uh, since it's the 1980s, you have to go to Kroger and, and make a, a money order. I didn't even know what that was until I got a ticket. Because I'm, cause I'm a child. So I got the money order made. And I just sent it today. Sent my money order to the police. Because I, cause I was going too fast in a place. I was too far away from home. Damn it. So I was going to work the other day in a mall. I sell shoes. I'm a shoe salesman in a mall. Um, uh, on the bottom floor, actually. you could see I could see the middle of the bottom floor of the mall from where I work. I had to walk past that little area. Which is an open area, so lots of events and things happen there. And, uh, and uh, I noticed some, some kids that were practicing some dance moves there in the middle. Like a lot of them. Like like 50 kids I'm like hmm that doesn't happen normally so I go into work and my boss is standing there I'm like hey what's that he goes oh there's gonna be a flash mob many things wrong with that <laughs> number one if the first person I talk to randomly knows that it's going to be a flash mob eh, it's a bad sign yeah aren't flash mobs supposed to be like people don't know what's happening until it's happening kind of thing or even not even then right isn't a flash mob where you're in a weird circumstance and then people around you start dancing and you don't know what the hell's going on. Like you're in an airport and then all of a sudden 200 people around you are doing the same dance moves. You're like, what the fuck? Um, I didn't think it would be kids dancing in the set. I mean, that's, you know what? Dance parties are cool. Dance. Please dance. Uh, don't call it a flash mob though if there's moms sitting there with cameras ready to take pictures. Sorry. It's not, it's not really a flash mob. It's kind of, it's just dancing at that point, which is great. But, you know, if it looks like a dance party, and it smells like a dance party, then I can't think of a clever joke to put on the end of there, damn it. I drink water now. Haven't had soda in a couple weeks. 